Hi, my name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. And after this uh, commentary video, I might be a prime target for the Internal Revenue Service, the Department of Homeland Security, or one of the other uh, security apparatus coming out of the ever-growing security industrial complex. We're about to enter into the real election season. Democrats versus Republican, red team versus blue team. The GOP, the red team, they picked their uh, candidate, Goldman Sachs back Mitt Romney. He's going to be their guy. And he's going to verse Goldman Sachs back Barack Obama for the blue team. The fact of the matter is, they don't now, nor have they ever represented you. Now, this might be a shock to some, but let's be honest. Let's wake up and look at the truth. The fact of the matter is, if the red team gets in there, the so-called conservatives, we will see an expanding government. We will see wars being waged around this planet in our name to secure energy resources and profits for a very select few. If the blue, if the blue team prevails and keeps their way uh, to having uh, the p control over the White House, we will see what? Continuation of war. We will see a continuation of uh, bailing out the too big to fail. And we will see a continuation of the middle class continuing to decline. It does not matter who is in that office. What matters is who they really represent. And those are the people who brought us here. If we look at some statistics from the year 2010, it breaks it down really clearly. 7% of the wealth of this nation went to 99% of the people. 7% of the wealth to 99% of the people. 56% of the wealth went to 1%. And 37% of the wealth went to 0.01% of the people of this nation. The latter two are the only constituents that matter in Washington, D.C. The rest of us are supposed to be pigeonholed, categorized, painted blue, painted red, and then made to war amongst ourselves uh, to blame each other for the condition of the country. Rome is burning. The empire is fading. We have the GSA in the midst of a scandal where they're spending money like out-of-control drunken sailors, although that's an insult to sailors. We have the Secret Service embrattled in a uh, prostitution scandal that would make uh, the mafia jealous. We have a government that can't stop spending money. Billions of dollars a day we go into debt. And we have an IRS that is about to put the boot on the neck of the average person in this country to pay for it. In fact, a compliance officer for the IRS was recently told, no mercy, disallow everything. It's very frightening. This is the trajectory this nation is on. The latter, the 1% or the 0.01%, these are the ones who are writing the laws that govern this nation. These are the ones who ha never have to worry about failing. And these are the ones that are going to laugh as the boot of tyrannical government is put onto the people to pay for their lavish lifestyles. Stories are attached. That's all I got.